What's going on, foodie fam? You already know the vibes. Now, today, right now, Burger King just dropped a nationwide for a limited time only candy bacon. So they're talking about their candy bacon whopper and all that good stuff. And I'm sure it's an amazing thing because we all know candy bacon is the truth. If you ain't talking bacon, you already played yourself. But they also have a fiery fish. I reviewed the Whopper a million times. Never have I ever had a fiery fish at Burger King. So what I'm thinking, let's take that same candy bacon and put it up on that fiery fish. Fam, are you ready for that combination? Do you think it's gonna be tasty? Or do you think it's gonna be boo boo to fool? I don't know. Let's find out together. It's your boy Drops. You know what happens next. What's going on, foodie fam? Uh, by now, you know what's going on with Burger King. They're wanting to go all out with this whole entire candy bacon situation. So the candy bacon Whopper, that's running about $7.29. And their big fish, we add in the creamy spicy sauce, is running at $5.99 right there. So just to let you know, we have a little bit of bacon jam. And we're going to definitely try the onion rings and fries inside this bacon jam by BK. Nice little... Oh! Oh, that is some maple loving, strong, well-scented hickory tones on that thing right there. It smells sweet. Onion rings inside bacon jam. Oh, come on. Onion rings and bacon jam. Talk to me. Fried up little onion ring boo thing with that sweetness up on there. Great execution. I think um, I don't get a lot of saltiness. Which, you know, bacon, that's what it screams at the end of the day. But just that, that, that hint of sweetness over an onion ring, oh yeah, it definitely works at BK. What them french fries do, mm -hmm. are them french fries just as beautifully disrespectful? Because you know french fries at BK, they're all right to begin with. Yeah. That's that sticky icky icky. Mm -hmm. Does it make it better though? The bacon jam is good. The fries are okay. Oh, damn. The bacon jam is good. The fries are okay. So again, that sticky, that sweetness to a BK fry, light crispiness to it. It it works for what it is, but I think I might prefer it on a sandwich, and we're going to get right into that. Mm -hmm. All right, family. So let's go ahead and get in. Whoa. Okay. You know when you can start to see through the wrapper? You about to get yourself into some, some danger, a little bit of trouble. This is the fiery fish here at BK. Wow. Wow, that's a lot going on, baby. I mean, and that is a whole lot. That's, that is a sauced up situation. Wow. You can smell it. I can smell the lettuce. Or I can smell anything else. But I asked for the candy bacon on this thing. So this is the new, this is the new spicy, this is the new fiery spicy fish at BK. And I asked for candy bacon on here as well. So let's see if we have that. Okay, baby girl forgot to put the candy bacon on there. All right, we're gonna drop the top on that convertible box uh, to expose the two pickles. And we definitely have uh, crunchy water on there but what if what if family we add this this bacon jam are we doing too much does bacon and fish not go together i don't know come on come on get on there with your jam yourself a jam on it <laughs> jam on it when it comes to oh oh uh oh uh oh who's that kid with the oreo cookie you know what? That's all the bacon jam. I don't care. I don't. Mm -hmm. It's on there. I was hoping it would be candy bacon. I'll take bacon jam. Oh. 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 All right, fam. We just added the bacon jam to the fiery fish here at BK. Let's get into it. Mmm. Whoa, whoa, whoa. 
I say, well, wait a minute, pause, hold on, where you going? Well, mm-mm, 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 yo, family, in the fast food game, you've never had anything better. You know what I'm saying to you? <clears throat> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <clears throat> this fish has been lathered in spicy sauce. And it's a crispy fish. It's crispy, right? What's helping to dumb down some of the spiciness is the crunchy water. Now we have soft bun action, SBA. But where the sweetness kicks in is that bacon jam, family. When you get this fish sandwich at BK, ask for bacon jam on it. Do yourself that favor. Because you're doing yourself a disservice to the food game by not putting bacon jam on your spicy fish sandwich. Mm. You know, you're doing yourself a disservice to the fiery fish at BK by not putting bacon jam on it. Mmm. Soft. Crispy, tender, sweet. That's fish breaking apart. You saw the fish jumping on the sandwich, it's jumping on me. Fish the hell not about. The way that spiciness is kicking up, it's topical, it's right on my lips. Mm. But the flavor is the way they're rushing in, and as tender as that fish is. And again, with that hickory maple loving up off that bacon jam, it really elevates the fish. It does. It does. I, I ain't gonna hold you. Flavor and all that. Flavor and all that. <clears throat> Flavor and all that. Come here. <clears throat> I need to get that topical activity off me. I gotta get it off me if I'm gonna go into yeah, this nah, this nah, classic nah. whopper. You gotta wash it down. Gotta wash I gotta wash it down. Give me a second. Mmm. Baby chocolate chunks that got bite on them. Oreo cookie, Oreo cookie bookie. All right. And then the creaminess of that milky, milky loving. Mmm. <laughs> mmm. You just need a little bit of that to get that sizzle stank off you. Because your lips going to be sizzling above that, that fiery fish. You just want to cool that down. And I'm lactose. I'll take that L. And that L is for me to hold. It ain't for lactose. It's just for me to hold. Now it's time for what they came for, Dale. They didn't come here for the bacon jam alone mm -hmm. over onion ring and fry. Nope. Nope. They didn't come here. No, maybe you did. Maybe, maybe you did come here for the fiery fish because they were curious what that fiery fish is hitting on. That thing, <laughs> epic. That fiery fish, <laughs> epic. But what people love at BK, when they mess with BK, mm -hmm. if it ain't the bird, I mean, I love the Bacon King, but people love the Whopper. Now, let me just go ahead and drop the top on the convertible box on this Whopper real quick. Lettuce, candied bacon, beef, beef, tomatoes, bacon jam over the bun, right? Bacon jam, more lettuce. I already knew what the bacon jam did for the fish, but what does it do for the Whopper? It overpowers it. And that's all you taste. That's it. That's all you taste. Straight up bacon. And bacon jam. And then candy bacon. The beef, almost non existent. You know what's in there. You know the lettuce is in there. You get in there the consistency of the lettuce, and it actually even knocks out the tomato. It just knocks it out. It cancels it. Bacon jam cancels the Whopper. The Whopper can't hold its own with bacon jam on it. I'm, I'm gonna call it what it is. I can't. But you take that same bacon jam on that fish sandwich that's spicy. Maybe if you had a spicy Whopper, 
and be able to fight the bacon jam. But you can't have a basic Whopper and put bacon jam on there because the sweetness, the hickory, the maple is too strong. That That's all you're going to taste. So I would say bacon jam, candy bacon on the fiery fish. But as for all the activity on the Whopper, it, it's a showstopper on the Whopper. The bacon jam is the showstopper. Like you came to see Jay-Z, but then Drake came out. And that's wild disrespect. disrespect. That is wild disrespect. wild disrespect. But in this day and age, in 2024, Jay's out for respect. The Whopper is the respect. But then brings out Drake. And out of crowd, they move a little different. You know what I'm saying? Most deaf said the best. You know what I'm saying? Drake is shopping music. People love to shop. shop. That's Drake. You at Target. You at Target. They ain't playing elevated music. They're playing Drake music. You right? If we're talking about sales, Jay could drop an album today. Drake can drop an album today. Drake going to get more sales. Let's, let's call it what it is. No disrespect. Hove is the man. No disrespect. But Drake is going to get more sales. First weekend, first weekend out. The Bacon Jam is getting more sales. First weekend out. You respect the Whopper, but the Bacon Jam is, that's what people came for. They ain't ready for this kind of talk. Nope. You ain't ready for this kind of talk. But it's real talk. Someone had to say it. In the game, I got to say it again. In the game, respectfully, Jay and Drake. That's two different eras of music right there. I came up on Jay. I didn't come up on no Drake. You probably came up on Drake. But logically... If they were both to drop an album today for weekend sales to be talked about, for the, matter of fact, this week, for this week's sales to be talked about, by Friday, Drake would sell more albums than Jay Z. By Friday. I see that happening. Yeah, I see that happening. By Friday, Drake would sell more than Jay. However, both Titans in the game would sell more albums individually and collectively than if anybody else dropped. Easily. Easily. Respectfully. So the Whopper, that's what folks talk about. That's Jay. The Bacon Jam, kind of overshadowed the Whopper. That's what folks are checking for. You put the Bacon Jam on that fiery fish at BK, a win. You put the Bacon Jam on the Whopper at BK, a win. But you're only going to taste the Bacon Jam on the Whopper. Jay-Z is not the fiery fish. The fiery fish stand alone. Jay Z's a whopper. Classic. Yeah. Man. <laughs> now he is. He is. He is. Legendary. Legendary. People come to see that. People come to see him. People come to you know, have the whopper. Have the whopper. Bacon Jam gonna bring in new people. Bacon Jam gonna bring in new people. Easy. 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 Mr. Beast is the fiery fish. Talk to him. Let's call it what it is. Mr. Beast is the fiery fish. He want everybody to try and catch. Or catch up to. There you go. I'm going I'm to I'm stop doing it to him. I'm going to stop doing it. They don't even see where I'm going. I'm going to stop doing it to him. That's enough. Y'all had enough. Too deep. Too deep. Go, go to BK. Get yourself a fiery fish, a.k.a. Mr. Beast. Make sure you, you put some Drake on there. They want bacon jam on that joint. Put bacon jam on there. And it's going to be the best damn sandwich in the fish game that you've had from a fast food establishment in ever. Not in forever, in, in ever. I'm done.